In the following video, I make use of a program called iClone to assist me in demonstrating the usefulness of the environment maps created by Genetica. In this video, we're going to learn how to make this awesome sci-fi wall material in iClone with the help of Genetica Pro. Notice how nicely it catches the light at certain angles and also changes color as the camera moves. In iClone, start a new project by selecting the Project tab and then clicking New Project. Then select the Set tab three, and drag a sphere into the middle of your scene. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger by using the Zoom tool. If you scroll down the right panel, you'll find the Material and Texture Settings area. We want to focus purely on the reflection channel. I'm going to remove the diffuse channel by double clicking it and selecting a pure black image. Now I'm going to and select one of the two images that comes with iClone. A couple problems. There's a seam running down the middle and there's this pinching effect the two poles. That's because this is just a regular image and not an actual environment map. Let's take a look at how we can use Genetica Pro to make this even better. In Genetica, click the Render Environment Map button. This button is available in the Pro Edition. In the window that pops up, click Edit Map. Genetica comes with many preset environment maps in various categories. From the Scenic category, I'm going to select Blazing Sunrise and click OK. I'll make sure that map type is set to Latitude Longitude and Resolution is set to 800 by 400. Then I'll click Export Map Standard and save it as a ping file. Back in iClone, I'm going to double click the reflection channel and then double click the environment map we just exported from Genetica. Notice how beautifully it maps to the object without any seams or pinching effects. This really starts to get cool when you create environment maps that have special effects built into them. Back in Genetica, I'm going to click Edit Map. Select the Metallic category, and then the Reardon Metal preset. Let's go back and see how this looks in iClone. Fantastic! the object has really taken on the qualities of our environment map. It looks like we spent all this time programming a sophisticated shader, but in fact it was just a few clicks as Genetica. Here I've used the same techniques to apply our environment map to some other shapes, just to drive home the point that what I'm showing you today isn't just for spheres, it will work with any shape in iClone. Environment maps are fully customizable in Genetica Pro. By clicking the Edit Layer tab, I can look at the various layers making up the Reardon Metal preset. If I don't like that sharp highlight there, I can change it. Loading our tweaked environment map into iClone just takes a few clicks. Now let's take a look at that sci-fi wall texture I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Back in Genetica, 
in the translucent category, I'm going to select the shard preset. Back in iClone, I'm going to start a new project and insert a cube. and then apply our environment map as we learned how. Now that's a pretty cool cube. I definitely like how it's changing all those colors as we rotate it. But how can we make this into a more interesting sci-fi wall? We can do that by using the bump channel. Genetic is good at making bump maps too. Start a new document and from the advanced nodes category drag a noise lab into the empty slot this creates a red and black image to color it white select color then drag a colorized noid over it and select insert below now we have an image that's getting colored white to customize our noise click this edit button I want a sci-fi effect so I'm going to click the select type button and then select pattern right here. We could further customize this pattern by clicking this select type button here and then selecting a different pattern but I'll just leave the pattern we already have. To render the texture click this button and then export the image by clicking here. Back in iClone, double click the bump channel and then select the bump image we just created. Only a small part of the image is being shown, so let's make it repeat more finely by entering tilings of 10. That's looking much more interesting now. The only problem is it's a little too smooth and perfect, but that's easy to fix back in Genetica. Back in Genetica, return to the noise lab, and if you scroll down, you'll see that we have a second slot to use another noise. I'll select this bubbly noise because it will give it a wrinkly beaten effect. And you can see that the new noise was mixed into the old one. It was mixing a little too strongly though, so I'm going to scroll up and use this Mix Bias slider to weaken it a little bit. Again I'll render and export it. Let's check out our new bump map in iClone. That's looking much more interesting. In addition to the repeating tech pattern, there are also all these wrinkles going through it. And that is a great wall material. And this concludes our video. Thank you for watching.